my name is Claire Dutibé. So in today's video, I'm going to show you how to run online bookstore system in ASP.NET, C Sharp, SQL Server, and Bootstrap. So I'm going to show you a quick snippet of how the application looks like. Um, once I'm done with that, then I'm going to take you through a step-by-step -step process on how to run the application okay so i'm currently on the admin dashboard but i'm going to show you the the, the user um, dashboard okay so this is the um, front store for the book store system um, on the front store you are going to see all the recent books that has been added so if i scroll down like this um, you, you are going to see all the books so for instance um if i click on artificial intelligence that's the this book is for 45 dollars if i click on it and then it's going to open the um the book details okay where you're going to see more about the book and then where you are going to add the quantity of the book that you want to order and then you can also add the cap Okay, so before I take you through this um, snippet, I would like to, you know, take you through the uh, project description where I'm going to be showing you the IDE, the um, languages that was used to um, develop the project. Okay, all right. So the project title is Online Bookstore uh, System in ASP.NET, C Sharp, SQL Server, and Bootstrap. Okay, so the IDE, that's the Integrated Development Environment, is Visual Studio Professional 2022. Um, that is what I've used. Okay, and then the programming languages. Uh, for the front end, we have the ASP.NET, HTML, uh, JavaScript, and Bootstrap for the CSS. Okay, so for the back end, I have used uh, C Sharp, and then for the database, I have used uh, LSQL server. Okay, all right. So for the rules, I have uh, we have the administrator and the user. Okay, so for the administrator, the administrator can log in, can add books, um, can view books, and then can view reports. Okay, so this is a very simple application. And then for the user, we have the front end. That's the front store which is the home page okay so that's the admin sorry uh this is the front store okay where you're gonna see uh, a list of all the books okay and then um we have the login so the user can also uh login okay so if they don't have a, um, an account they can click on the register button like this and then they can you know um uh, input their name their email address and their password and then the user or the customer can register okay so after the customer have registered and then the customer can now log in all right so i'm going to show you um, how this works okay so we are going to go back like this and then we have the book details the book details is when a customer have a uh, uh, click on a particular book to view it details so this uh, is the book details okay page all right so we have the add to cart the add to cart which is this the user can easily you know increase the um the quantity okay of the books that he or she okay wants to uh buy and then they can add to cart okay so before you add to cart you must uh log in as a user don't worry i'm going to show you how this works okay so we have the view card so let me quickly show you how to run this project from scratch okay so i'm going to go to my visual studio um, ide so i'm going to close this i'm going to close this then i'm going to close the ide then i'm going to go to my um, file explorer okay so this is the project folder okay so uh, if you click to click on this you can see all the files then if you go back then this is the solution explorer sorry 
this is the solution file. So right click on this and then you click on open with, then open with Visual Studio Professional 2022. Okay, so now that you're on the Visual Studio IDE, okay, so if you navigate towards your right sidebar of the screen, you're going to see um, Solution Explorer. So click on it. Once you click on it, you're going to see all the files on the that made up the uh, project. Okay, so look for um, default. So default is the home page. So if you like, you can right click on it and then view in browser or view in browser yeah so google chrome is my default browser or if you like you can click on the play button here okay so just click on it okay so if you like um, you can just set this default as a home page as the startup page so if i set this as a startup page like this okay so um if i click on this if i click here for instance so it's going to build the project and then the default page which is the index the home page that i've set up is going to open first okay all right so this is the home page this is how to run the project okay so the second method on how to run it so if i stop here like if i stop it like this then if you go to Solution Explorer, you scroll down to default, you right click, so you click on view in browser. So these two process are the same thing. So whichever method that you prefer, you can use it. Okay, so if you click on view in browser, um, it's going to quickly open in your web browser. Just going to click on it. Okay, so that's the new page tab opening right there. Okay, so this is how to run the projects. Okay, from your Visual Studio IDE from scratch. Currently, um, on the front end, okay, uh, for the user. So um, first, I'm going to, you know, scroll down, uh, check one or two books that I want to buy. Is it WordPress for dummies? Or if it's not WordPress for dummies, I'm going to go back like this, and then I'm going to check more books. Is it uh, graphic designs or is it the art of coding in C Sharp? Okay as the case maybe so first i'm going to register as a new customer all right so i'm going to enter my name as a customer so all this data are for testing purpose all right all right so i'm going to click on register all right registered successfully so now i'm going to log in okay So I'm going to log in as a new customer. All right, welcome Cletus. All right, so I am logged in. Okay, so now I'm going to select a few books. I'm going to buy a few books. Okay, so I'm going to go with uh, graphic designs. All right, so um, I'm going to go for two quantity. Okay, then I'm going to add to cart. All right, so now we have uh, our items added to card. So I'm going to order another book. So I'm going to go for um, I'm going to go for WordPress. Okay, so yeah, I'm just going to go for one quantity. Then I'm going to add to card. Okay, so now I have added these items to card. Then I'm going to click on the card. All right, so um, now this is a cut uh, page. Okay, so we have the book title, which is this. Okay, um, graphic designs, $20 for each. And the quantity is two. Um, a total price I'm gonna pay for this graphic design book is 40 USD. Okay, so for WordPress for dummies, uh, the unit price is $35. And then the quantity is for one, and then we have the total amount to pay. All right, so uh, we have the cut summary. We have a total of uh, this plus this, um, 75 USD, and our shipping fee is um, $10, okay? Making a total of $85.
All right, so for the checkout, I'm going to click uh, checkout with PayPal. So once I click on this, it's going to take me to the um, the the price page where I'm going to see the total amount that I'm supposed to check out. Okay, so if you like, you can return to the uh, on the storefront or you can go ahead and place your order. All right, so for this, I have used PayPal Sandbox, okay, just for testing purpose. So the payment um, is not going to go through, it's just for testing purpose, okay? So now if I click on place order, okay, so as you can see, we have the 85 USD and then we have pay with PayPal, okay? So why we have um, implemented the PayPal uh, uh, payment integration is that uh, we just use the sandbox, PayPal sandbox for testing purpose, okay? So even if you make payment here, it's just for testing sake, okay? You're not going to debit any of your card because it's for testing purpose. Okay, so this is how the um, user uh, um, role looks like. Okay, so I have been able to show you how to, you know, place order in the user site. So now I'm going to show you how to um, use the ad administrator um, site. Okay, all right, so first we are going to view the order that we just placed okay remember what we have on the screen is the report for all the books uh, that has been added to the database all right so here we have the book image okay so each of the books have their own thumbnail all right so we have the book id we have the book title we have the book category and the book author we have the publisher we have the book price and the book quantity and the book description all right so for the book description i have used a dummy uh, text okay um just for testing purpose all right okay so now i'm going to click on sales report okay so for the sales report you're going to see the recent sales that we just made okay so um we have the customer name um this is Cletus. Cletus ordered for uh two different books okay uh, one of it which the quantity is two and the other one which is what press for dummies the quantity is just one okay so the first book is graphic design uh the unit price was 20 and then the quantity uh two and then the total price was uh 40 all right so the second book that Cletus ordered um is what press for dummy and then the unit price is 35 uh, the quantity one and the total price is 35 USD. Okay, so this is the books that Claytus have ordered. All right, so now I'm going to. We have seen the book records, we have seen uh, the sales record. Now I'm going to show you how to add books. Okay, so now we are in the add book uh, page. So the book, the accession number. Uh, is auto generated okay so do i've left the 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 text box to be uh uh not to be read only so that if you like you can enter your own uh book id okay all right so for the book title we are going to say computer um, science for kids okay all right so this is just a testing uh data okay all right, so for the book category, we are going to click on computer science. Okay, all right. And then for the author, we are going to say John Doe. Of course, they're all testing sick. Okay, publisher, we are going to say uh, Eric. Okay, so Domino. All right, so the price, we are going to go for... Um, the price we're going to go for let's say 40 usd uh, the quantity we're just going to go with five the, the description of course we just need a dummy description so i'm just going to say testing testing 
all right so that's just uh a dummy description right there then for the book image i'm gonna all right so i've uploaded the book image so i'm going to check my data very well and then i'm going to click on summit all right so record summit text successfully so let's go to the report uh view then let's click on books report then let's scroll down let's look for the book that we just okay so see it here number nine on the list is the book okay so uh we have it on the list okay so now we are going to go back to our home page okay so now that we are on the home page we are going to you know look for that book that we just entered okay so this is the book right here okay computer science 101 okay so i'm going to click on this book that you just entered okay so here is the book all right so let's say Cletus wants to order for this book again all right so i'm going to order for let's say three copies okay so we are going to add to card okay so i'm going to check my card and then we have to, to pay 120 plus shipping fee 130 okay so i'm going to check out check out with paper confirm the price place order okay so again uh this is just for testing paper sandbox so the payment is not going to go through it's just for testing purpose so i'm just going to leave it here okay so i'm going to go back to my admin then I'm going to click on sales report. I'm going to refresh this. Okay, so this is it, the last uh, order I just made. Okay, so guys, this is how to run the um, online bookstore in ASP.net.